and start removing slightly okay mm -hmm. keep your head back for you everything has become one piece your mm -hmm. nasal <laughs> jaw mm -hmm. Later, later. Just recent, five days back. This student hot Krishna Hindu. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, greetings from Richardson Hospital. Uh, we have an interesting case here, a very young girl uh, right from the south of the country who wanted a nasal as well as jaw correction. So when she came to us, this was her around seven days back, one week back, right? Exactly one week back. Um, I'll proceed with the pack removal and the dressing removal and then I'll go on to explain as to what problems did we correct and how it has come out now, right? right? I'll proceed with the nasal pack removal first. Splint is so well fitted for you. <laughs> You'll like a scissor, possible. Just look a little bit up, don't worry. Close your eyes. Yeah. Just give me a moment. For some, the splint is so uh, loose and weakened, just on day 5 itself, for her it's just the opposite. Okay, so we are out with the splint, a little bit of bruising is there, that will go with time, don't worry. Remove this. Okay. 
okay so little bit of cleaning now close your eyes tight Swelling is there, but we have got your. We have got an augmentation for this. I'll explain you a little bit. Okay, so if you can have a look at the pre-operative view, which was taken around a week back, she had come to us with a bent or a bump in her nose, which was the dorsal hump, which you can see over here. Aesthetic dorsal lines were not very prominent. Her nose was already a sleek one, but there was a bent in the nose which she primarily wanted to get corrected, right? Yeah, there was a hump over here, right? A bo little bony part. If you remember, you can see yourself in the mirror, uh, on the mirror and the picture as well. We can appreciate in the profile view. If you see the lateral, the side view. Yes, you can turn your head on one side, see the dorsal hump which was there pre-operatively and now it has been reduced there's a little bit of bruising over here that will go away with time okay mm -hmm. there was a pack which was kept which is maintaining the shape now it's out mm -hmm. it's sleek and if you see this curve these this the curve from the radix slendering it down up to the dorsum this is the perfect no nasal shape so as to say um she did not require much work at the tip but her dorsal hum was the main correction. If you can look on the side ones, we can compare the two views a little better. Yeah, with respect to the chin also, I would like to say the facial profile, it was way receded. It was way behind. Now, if you turn to the side and if you see your nasal profile lives and your chin, it comes almost, it has been advanced to a huge extent such that it gives a better facial profile okay yes there is definitely a bit of swelling for her a jaw work has also been done because she had facial asymmetry if you can see in the frontal view yeah, even the basal view we can appreciate if you can see the the shape of her jaws the lower border of the mandible it was not symmetrical there was a curve on the one side and it was quite straight on the other so that has been worked upon the chin has been augmented and the nose has been narrowed down so all in all a lot of work has been done yeah there is a little bit of swelling it will take time you already have a face which is quite slender and narrow we tried giving you a chin in proportion to that a nose in proportion to that the bruising that you see will come down with time it's become blue it's become red that will this all passed through the healing process it will come down okay yeah how was the surgery how was this day how does it look for her there is still that's right that's good now <coughs> uh, let's come this side with the picture on this side let's start that and make it come uh, not so much good yeah this is fine it's straight <coughs> so this is day seven and uh, we've done a rhinoplasty for her she had a dorsal hump we've done some tip plasty uh, no sutures here which means this was a closed rhinoplasty uh, more importantly we've done work on the lower jaw she had asymmetry can you show some of the pre-op pictures here please yeah look at this picture hold that hold it so you can see the asymmetry uh, this entire chin was going off towards one side and there was a lot of asymmetry there was buckling here so we've corrected that uh, there's still a lot of swelling but we've given it a nice pointy chin that suits her face the swelling here you see the nose is still um, swollen is bruised but once it gets um, once the swelling goes down you can see the tip that's moved and more importantly we're going to show you the nose from the sides <clears throat> you can see that 
So uh, you can see the dorsum is straight line. I'm probably going to show you the yeah. You can see the dorsal hump is gone. And this side. And this head again. You can see the difference with the chin as well. Uh, the chin has come forwards. We've corrected the asymmetry and also on the dorsum. So we're going to apply steri strips for her for some more time.